Welcome back to the channel, guys. You're watching Outdoors with Craig DZ. Big content for you today, big update. Uh, been waiting a long time for this, so let's begin. Just trying to walk through some things, get the truck ready for our trip tomorrow. So we're leaving 4, 4 4.30 in the morning. It's about a four and a half hour drive um, to Pennsylvania where we're going. Um, so I brought a jack with us. I have my normal stuff, tire plugs, pumps. Uh, I have a, my Ryobi, small little Ryobi compressor now, uh, portable. I also have a 12 volt compressor, um, some other miscellaneous tools, wrenches, uh, impact gun, because we will have to check the lug nuts on the, the trailer as well. So hopefully everything goes okay. One thing I am noticing, I installed my fifth wheel uh, seven pin in the, the bed of the truck. And for whatever reason, um, getting like, you know, trailers connected, trailers unconnected. When I put it in reverse, I was getting a warning that like my left trailer break or left trailer light was out or something. So I played around with all the connections again, and that has seemed to have gone away. Um, so we'll see. I may have to kind of unhook that and, and just plug it back into the factory harness and um, bringing a extension. So for the gooseneck, I can plug into that if I need to. I also took out a lot of the stuff that I had in the back, um, like my spare trailer tire, because the, this trailer is going to have one. And I'm not sure if the lug pattern is going to be the same. So there was no point really dragging that along with us. One note I will make, and we'll see how it goes on this trip, is um, the right, left rear tire, when I was farting around hooking up the harness, I actually noticed there's a probably quarter size hex bolt in that tire um it had 70 ish pounds of, of of air in it um i went to the dump two days ago was the last time so i mean it's been holding and i mean it's definitely had a lot of wear on the head of it so it's been in there a little bit so i pumped it up all the tires are now 80 psi as well um so we'll see see how the trip goes all right good morning youtube it's 4 30 on the dot we are beginning our journey. It's uh, 46 degrees out while we're driving here. Yeah, we got some heavy fog. Visibility's uh, minimal at best. About 7.30. Little rest stop. Get some McDonald's. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Outdoors with Craig DZ. Exciting day today, picking up my roll off from Bison uh, Trailers down in uh, PA. It was about a four and a half hour ride. We finally arrived. It's a little after 9.30 today. Right, and we're back watching outdoors with Craig DZ. So, dropped, spin the camera around, 
dropped off these bison dumpsters. Um, this is a 20 yarder that's on the trailer right now. This is a 15. And then the one out there is also a 15. So far, very happy um, with the, the purchase. Uh, towing went fine, you know, no issues with that one tire. Thankfully, um, had some brake issues. We might have to adjust it. Um, like I stated earlier, I think in the video, my brake um, adapter harness for that fifth, fifth wheel gooseneck setup may be bad or have something uh, wrong with it. So I ordered another one that will, will be here Sunday. I'll swap them out and then try the brakes again and see if it's any better. If not, um, I did reach out to Bison and they're gonna send me like an instructional uh, video, YouTube video, I guess, uh, about modifying and adjusting, kind of tweaking the brakes because they they were very, very, very um, not there. <laughs> um, I mean, you could feel them catch a little bit, but uh, when we were, I can only imagine total weight of all three of these together is probably 10,000 pounds plus. So um, it uh, towed well. We, we cruised like 75 almost the whole way home. Um, round trip, yeah, just over nine hours total to get this. Um, and I'm not, uh, in this video, not going to go through all the features and show you all that stuff. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Um, just like unloading the cans. I didn't really show um, any of that process, but I'll, I'll talk about that in the next video. So if you have questions, comments, post them in, uh, post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I appreciate everybody's support and uh, 2022 is looking uh, like it's gonna be one hell of a year. So um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all future content and I will see you guys again on the next one. See ya.